morning. It's uh, Thursday, 21st of June. Uh, so if you're watching on uh, Life of Charlie on YouTube, it's Ben Cocaine, appreciate you watching. Thank you for checking out my channel. Uh, feel free to scroll through all the videos if you enjoy what, you, what, what I'm talking about. If you can resonate with anything, feel free to like and share, uh, it's much appreciated. And if you want to reach out for any particular reason, I'm always open to speaking and meeting new people as well. So, uh, just out down the river this morning. It's quite a decent day. It's starting to break up a little bit now. It was a bit cloudy and overcast when I came out this morning. It's only about 15 degrees. Bit of a breeze, so it's a bit chillier than uh, than what it has been recently. But the farmer has general, generously cut all this down. I used to have to wade through it and get nettled and itchy legs and all the rest of it but he's kindly uh, chopped it all down so it makes it much more easier walking down the bank and it makes the walk a lot more uh, a lot more enjoyable so uh, I just wanted to talk about accountability today something I've been talking about for the last last week or so um, and it could I hope that wind's not playing out guys I'll check the video back anyway and if it is I just won't send it out I've got my mic tucked inside my jacket so hopefully not too bad uh, but accountability, I think for me, accountability has been uh, a big part of my life. Uh, I suppose I could go right back to the serious accountability stuff, would go right back to my army days, being accountable for your kit and making sure that you could go right back to the basic training, making sure your boots are polished, your kit's ironed, your bed's made, with the hospital corners. If you've been in the military, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say hospital corners. Um, but then obviously I came out of the army and I, I, I was lucky enough to start playing pro sport, pro rugby and one thing with the accountability thing for me is that um, you feel you, the, the idea of accountability in my opinion is just to make you responsible for your actions, make you responsible for the things that you do um, and obviously to try and encourage that in a positive, na in a positive way now. Uh, you've also got to be accountable for any negative things you do, which uh, I've had to swallow that pill a number of times as well, which, you know, that's life. But uh, accountability, like I said, I think one thing that um, it's really helped me within a business, in a business front, the, the, the military and sport um, has really helped me to understand what accountability is. Uh, and I think to become accountable to a lot of things you do need to be passionate about it. Uh, you need to be passionate about it. It needs to be something that you, you, you enjoy. But on the flip side of that also, sometimes you've got to be accountable for things that you don't necessarily enjoy, things that, uh, things that need to be done for the better, for your environment. Uh, when I say environment, I mean the, you know, the things in and around your life. Um, so sometimes you've got to do the, the things that aren't great to be accountable for. But from a sport in a business point of view, being accountable is a great, a great way of making sure that you do things to the best of your ability. And if I, if I use sport as an example, one thing we do every single week as a team, as a group, every Friday before we, uh, before we do our team run, we, we create some team goals. So that's keeping the team, I suppose that's keeping the, the, the team accountable to the coaching staff and to the coach and to, the, uh, and to each other. But then we have individual goals as well. So on the individual goals will just basically be uh, you writing down a few points, what you're going to do for the team in the game this particular week against this particular team. So again, you're writing it down, you're making the commitment. And like I said, you're being accountable for your actions uh, to come. And in my opinion, that really, really does help you in trying to achieve whatever goal you're trying to achieve. I've dropped into a dip now, so hopefully if there was any wind, it's dropped off. I'm gonna park my ass here anyway. Um, so if, uh, so if um, being accountable, I've, I lost my track there when I've got myself sat down, but writing the goals down, I'm talking about the team goals. So we, we, we write our team goals down and we write down our individual goals. Um, and not only does it give you a focus of what you need to do, but like I said, it keeps you... Um, I think sometimes being, being accountable and writing things down for everybody else to see, in some instances, it, I suppose it's kind of it's kind of shaming you if you don't do what you've got written down. So that, for a, for a human being, I think nature, when you've said you're going to do something, 
if you don't do it, you feel like a dick. <laughs> That's the top and bottom of it. So, um, and, and that is a big driving force for a lot of people. I know for me, if I ever say I'm going to do something, you know, be it publicly or write it down somewhere, I feel embarrassed. I feel like a, I feel like a tit if I don't achieve it. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to quit if I don't achieve it. It just means I've got to re, I've got to kind of reset uh, those goals, and it means I've got to go again. So, um, so I just came up with the idea the other day because I'm in a process where, uh, as you know, you might be fed up of it now, but Claire's pregnant, and um, I don't want to. Day, I don't. I, I. I suppose it's the bit of vanity inside of me, and the fact that I want to keep continue playing rugby beyond this year. I don't want to slip into bad habits uh, and end up in uh, a little bit out of shape. So the way that I know that I can prevent myself from doing that is by being accountable to a group of people. It's all good and well posting on Facebook and stuff like that. Most people don't give a toss what's going on in your life unless it's going to make them laugh or, you know, Facebook's there for, for entertainment value and, and for people to, to be entertained and to be nosy and stuff like that. So you're not really necessarily being accountable if you just post it on your Facebook or your Instagram or anything like that. So what I decided to do was uh, put a video out there and, and just said if anybody else fancied uh, joining an accountability group, because they're in a similar situation to me where they want to keep on top of the diet or the lifestyle or they want to lose a little bit of weight or they want to, uh, whatever it is they want to do and they want to be accountable to somebody or something, we've, we've created a group so people can be a part of that. It's only a little WhatsApp group. I think the last couple of days we've got about nine people in it, nine or ten people in it. Um, and all we do every single morning, we post a, a video that's less than 30 seconds long saying what activities we're going to be doing this particular day um, and sharing... Uh, for example, it's a lot of it's based around nutrition and, and diet and lifestyle. So we're posting there a little bit about our um, day ahead. So like I, I posted this morning, I'm going out for a walk with Phoebe, the Jack Russell, I'll be out for an hour or so. And then I'm training tonight, I'm doing rugby training, which will be cardio and weightlifting uh, and the field session as well. So I just let people know that and then I'll post photos throughout the day of the stuff that I eat. So I'm keeping myself accountable to the people that want to be kept accountable as well. And I think when you create a little, uh, you can when you create a little um, community like that, it gets everybody buzzing and it gets everybody on the right track. So, so that's just a bit on accountability today and, and why I think it's important. Uh, and if you are somebody that feels like you need that at the moment, particularly for for diet and lifestyle and uh, exercise and stuff like that, reach out to me. Let me know, and we can bob you in the WhatsApp group as well. It's. Um, uh, like I said, it's not it's not ping 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 all day. Uh, we I've, I've told the, the the guys that are in there at the moment, no texting. You know, it's not for small talk and chit chat and none of that nonsense. It's just for a video first thing on the morning when you start your day, and then just photos of your food throughout the day, just to keep each other motivated, keep each other accountable, and keep keep on track with what we're trying to achieve. So if you want to be a part of that, let me know and I can stick you in there. If not, have a great day. Uh, like I said, a little bit chilly. Uh, the, the cloud is breaking though now over Sunk Island, so it's going to be a great day by the looks of it. And I've got a couple of meetings this afternoon before I head to training. So have a great one, folks. Pre appreciate you checking it out again. Like I said, if you do, uh, uh, if you do, if you are enjoying the stuff that I'm talking about, you can press a like button and you can subscribe to the channel and you can even share it with a pal. And you can reach out to me personally. I do not buy. I love connecting with new people uh, and I love life. So uh, feel free to reach out. Have a great one, folks, and thanks for watching.